For the past three months, I have been using four different MacBooks, and today I'm gonna share my thoughts and try to answer which one is better for you. Just to make it clear, this is not a test to see which computer is faster. In this case, it's obvious that the MacBook Pros will win, but I wanted to see which laptop is better to carry around, type on the lab, use with two tabs open at the same time, and a few other things. But before we start, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And in case you want to buy a new MacBook, make sure to use my affiliate links in the description. You don't pay anything extra, but I get a small commission from every sale, so it's a great way to support the channel. Okay, before I start, I want to rule out two specific and kind of obvious cases. In case you really need the portability, your computer needs to be light and fit in any bag, of course, the 13-inch MacBook Air is your option. On the other hand, if you need a powerful computer, don't care if it's a bit heavy and chunky and a big screen is a must for your work. Don't even continue watching this video, go ahead and buy the 16 inch MacBook Pro. So my first comparison, using and typing on the lab. If you bought a laptop, most likely you will want to eventually use your computer on your lab. My order from best to worst when typing on my lab is Air 13 Pro 14, Air 15, and the last one being the 16 inch. The weight doesn't affect much, but the extra area on both sides of the keyboard on the 15 and 16 inch models make you type on an angle, making it a bit less comfortable. Also on the 13 and 14 inch, as you don't have this big extra surface on the sides, your hands will be very close to the edge of the computer, making it a bit more stable and comfortable. Talking about portability and how they fit in backpacks and handbags, again, the smaller MacBooks are far better than the other two. And because you will be carrying them around, the weight of the Pro ones do make a difference. If you're going to school or work, you need to pack more things in your bag. Both the 13 and 15 inch MacBook Airs are way lighter than the 14 and 16 inch Macs. Now, specifically for the MacBook Pro, if you really need to be on the go and will be using your Mac in different places, I would recommend avoiding the 16 inch. My husband is currently making this change because every time he puts his MacBook in a backpack or needs to pull the computer out somewhere just to do something really quick and simple, he always complains about how big that computer is. And talking about bags, let me show you the tote bag in laptop sleeve that I've been using from today's sponsor, Ondar. First up, the Page tote bag is made from premium faux grain oil wax leather, which not only feels incredible, but also lasts a lifetime and looks great. The page is spacious, fitting up to a 15 inch laptop inside and comes with both adjustable and fixed straps, which makes it super convenient because you can choose whether to wear a crossbody or throw it over your shoulder. Next is the Chase laptop sleeve, which keeps my laptop safe and stylish while on the go. Just like the Toad, it is made from the same high quality full grain oil waxed leather, offering a sleek minimalist look. Something I really love is the plush microfiber lining inside, which keeps your laptop safe from scratches. And the Chase also has two full zipper pockets for extra storage, so I can easily carry the MacBook charger alongside it. This is the smaller version, but it's available in a larger size as well. If you're interested in either of these, make sure to check out the links in the description. And thank you so much, Andar, for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to it. Okay, next, I want to talk about split screen. This is a feature that I use a lot whenever I'm writing my scripts or doing some research. And depending on how you work, it might be crucial when deciding what size to buy. Before showing you all the Macs with two pages on split screen, let me tell you which model I'm using right now and why. My MacBook of choice is the 15 inch MacBook Air and I chose this model mainly because of how light it is and also because it is good to work with two windows 
side by side. On the 13 inch MacBook Air, it's practically impossible to work like this. You do have to rely on swiping three fingers on the trackpad to switch back and forth between multiple windows. The 14 inch MacBook Pro is doable, but still not great. I found myself having to make the tabs full screen and then switch between them from time to time. And of course, the 16 inch MacBook Pro is the best of them for this. Now, a few other things that I noticed while using all MacBooks. First, even though the Pros have much better screens with higher refresh rates and Mac speak brightness, for some reason, I felt that the 15 inch MacBook Air was a bit brighter than the 14 inch MacBook Pro. I'm not entirely sure about why, but I do suspect that even though the 14 inch has more nits, you have more screen area on the 15. There might have been many other circumstances, like how cloudy it was when I was using the 15, or maybe I forgot to turn on and off a few extra lights in the apartment, but that was what I felt using these models in particular. Again, the 14 inch has a much better and brighter screen. Regarding battery life, all of them are extremely good. A few points though. The pros have bigger batteries, so if you do the same work on all of them, the pros might last a little longer. And the 15 is supposed to be a bit more efficient than the 13 as it uses the M3 processor instead of the M2 on the 13 inch. But in real life scenarios, they are very similar. And my last comment is about the speakers. MacBooks probably have the best laptop speakers, but of course the pros are better, especially the 16 inch. To be honest, I just watch YouTube, Netflix, and review my videos on my laptop, but if you really need the speakers to sound good, the pro version is probably the way to go. Okay, this video was not intended to compare how fast these computers are or what kind of work you can do on each of them based on the performance. It was all about comfort and convenience, so I hope I helped you pick the right MacBook for you. Don't forget to leave a comment here saying which MacBook is your daily driver, and Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.